Had you been wondering what happened with the Iran nuke deal that was made in the former President Obama's administration and how close they've come to actually having nuclear weapons? Well, think about this. Israel's ambassador, Ron Dermer, discusses Israel's strategy to defeat Iran at the APAC 2018. Check it out. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. So the APAC is actually the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. Say that quick five times, yeah, right? I know, we just call it <laughs> APAC, right? And it's happening right now. There's so many good things taking place. Nikki Haley spoken, Vice President spoken. Uh, the President's going to be speaking and uh, it's just exciting, right? It is exciting because this is a chance that, you know, we get to stand behind our Israeli friends and brothers yeah. and our only ally in the Middle East. Right. And so this is, it's exciting. Powerful ally. And so at APAC right here, the Israel ambassador, Ron Dermer, is being interviewed by a journalist, Dana Wise, as she's asking some questions to him. Yes. And what's the first question that she's going to ask well, him? Well, the first question is, how volatile is it right now in the northern part of Israel? And really to have some context yeah. in that, I mean, Israel is not that long to begin it's, with. Its widest point is what? Like it's, 70, 60 miles wide? Yeah, if that, right. We were able to drive from the northern part borders of Israel all the way down to, to Jerusalem and could have kept on driving if we wanted to. Yeah, well, to give you some perspective, yeah. it's smaller than the state of uh, New Jersey and a little bit smaller than, a, than the country of Ecuador. So it's, it's pretty small. So, so the northern part's real close to the southern part. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> it's a stone's throw away. <laughs> Literally. So what's the question again? Well, how volatile is the situation right now? Because you remember there, there was some conflict we shared here on, yeah. on the program. A drone. Yeah, a drone that he shot down. It was serious. And also, um, what's Israel's strategy to counter Iran's influence in Syria? Because we're seeing that more and more today. Yes. So watch this. I want to start, Ambassador, with remarks that you made here in last year's uh, policy convention. And I want to quote, you said... I'm glad people were paying attention to what I said. <laughs> the worst outcome that could emerge from the horrific carnage in Syria would be to effectively cede parts of Syria to Iran and Hezbollah. Well, unfortunately, in the past year, while defeating ISIS, this is exactly what happened. And um, Iran is expanding in the north of Israel. We just saw um, last month uh, how a hostile drone drove over from Syria to Israel. So I think we all want to hear from you uh, two things. A, how volatile is the situation right now in the north? And uh, B, what can you tell us about Israel's strategy, strategy to counter Iran and Syria? Well, the situation is very volatile because Iran continues on its mission essentially to establish permanent military bases uh, in Syria, to establish another terror front to attack Israel from Syria, and also to uh, build uh, factories for precision-guided munitions in Syria and Lebanon. So they're continuing with their plans, and as committed as they are to advance those, Israel is even more committed to stopping them. And the Prime Minister has been very clear about his red lines in Syria, and unfortunately he's had to enforce those red lines repeatedly. You mentioned the drone a strike, uh, a brazen violation of Israel's sovereignty and security where the Iranians sent a drone into our airspace. That drone was taken out. We also targeted a number of Iranian and Syrian positions within Syria. Uh, and in that um, flare-up, you also saw the downing of an Israeli a jet, which is obviously a very serious uh, thing. So we're going to continue to enforce our red lines. And I think what's important for people to understand is uh, we're just not going to allow Iran to advance its aims in Syria. So the more the world backs Israel's right to defend itself and to enforce those red lines, the less likely you're going to see uh, an escalation. It's clear that the United States supports Israel's policy. It's important for other countries around the world who do not want to see an escalation and do not want to see a wider war uh, to back Israel. Um, and I, I hope they do. Uh, but we're dead serious about enforcing our red lines in Syria. And I think if people haven't understood that up until this point, they'll understand it in the future. That's so refreshing <laughs> that, you know, I love the decisiveness of Israel. And 
obviously we will not allow that to happen. And really, it's the decisiveness of the prime minister, yes. Benjamin Netanyahu, because there was previous prime ministers that weren't as direct, and they were trying to peace, 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 as they gave up more land, more more freedom, more deaths. And everything that they tried to do, it's yeah. been actually pushed away. Yeah. And they've offered, I don't know how many times to be able to be, and they're- to, It's uh, embarrassing Hamas. how many times they've offered land. Yeah. Really it is. Yes. I mean, and they just continue to do that. I don't know of another nation on the face of this earth who is continually lives in the crosshairs of their enemies. Right. And so they're constantly having to deal with Iran. If it's not Iran, it's Syria. If it's not Syria, it's Lebanon. Right. It's or Hezbollah and the Gaza Strip. And it's Hamas, a continual, yes. You know, and so you're looking at you know the uh, ab, the, the they they've offered plenty of times to be able to do this, and it's, it's encouraging because you're seeing the people who understands when you're that small. Yeah. You know, I remember I was in law enforcement. The people that you had to be more concerned about Watch wasn't out. The, wasn't <laughs> the big guys. You know, it was the, the small ones because they they would fight. Yeah. You know, I remember one particular one where. We we're making this arrest in law enforcement, and the guy sat there and told one of the deputies that was with me, he says, you know, I'm gonna kick you, right? And he just, we went on arresting him, and he put the cuffs on him, all that kind of stuff, and I turned turn my head around to get back in my car, and all of a sudden he goes, oh! I said, what happened? He said, he kicked me. I said, he told you he's gonna <laughs> kick you. Well, Hamas continually says, we will not have Israel in that land. We will push them in the sea, and that's they're saying that that's yeah. their land, and it's not. When you think about this, we have a program coming up that's about that. You know uh, that uh, Cyrus, twenty five hundred mm. years ago, you know, said that Israel can go back to their lands. That was twenty five hundred yeah. years. Build a temple. Yeah. Totally rules anything Hamas would say out. And there's so many good things coming up. But this is so important to have that kind of decisiveness over Israel, and it's good to have that over America yeah. now with with our leader, current leadership. We want to ask this question to you. You know, as our community, we want to hear from you. You know, comment below, write to us, email us. You know, what are your thoughts toward this? Let's, let's, let's you know, it's important no longer just to look at things anymore and just kind of be a, a, a voyeur of life, but begin to say, you know, I'm going to put my, let my opinion be known. I want to be able to, to stick it out there and say that they're doing something good and they're protecting the people of Israel. I want to comment. I want Israel to see my comment you know, below or, or my email or, or, or I want to write. It's, you know, it's so important yeah. to hear that. We love hearing from you on that. Be sure to subscribe and press alert to get new notifications of new success secrets made available on VFN TV. You know, a lot of people want to abide with the Lord, but they just don't have a plan to do it. You can request that plan today at iabide.org. I'm your host, Greg Lancaster, and we're so glad that you've joined us. Don't forget you can join us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Download our app and sign up for our newsletter, The Torch, at vfntv.com. I've enjoyed our time together. God bless.